feel happy, feel feel great opportunity to, to come and play men's football again and and hopefully now I can kick start and hopefully kick start my career because it hasn't, hasn't gone according to plan but hopefully it'll kick start here and I'll start scoring some goals and show the fans what I can really do. And um, could you explain uh, how the move came about? Um, I know it just kind of came about from people knowing that uh, I, I could go and people just kind of start asking questions and ask, asking uh, would I be interested and stuff like that so a few clubs who came in but Rovers stood out to me so. Well, what was it about Rovers that? The tradition of the club and, and everything like that, the biggest club in Ireland and everything like that. So it's just been, it's been, it's been a pleasure to, to come here and sign here. And of course, you you played here for this time last year as well, um, for the Ireland Free Ones against yeah. uh, Montenegro. Yeah. And um, so yeah, you know your way around a little bit. Yeah, I do. Ah, small, but yes, it's a nice stadium. Her, her the fans are great, and all that, and the pitch is good as well. So. It's good and it's good to be back home. Well, and for supporters who <coughs> might know anything about you, um, could you just give them a rundown, you know, where you play, what um, your style of play? Yeah. Uh, play, striker, um, I think running in behind my movement off the ball and that and, and a finisher. I, think I, I can score some goals and hopefully if I get the service, so I know I'll score. So I'm just hoping to kickstart my career and, and get going. Um, and you've had you've had a a, a wonderful uh, youth career youth level. Um, you got our under sixteen Ireland Player of the Year, and um, back a few years ago, um, your old coach at Villa said you were full of goals. Um, so you're fairly confident that you can you can start scoring regularly again. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for this this move now. Hopefully, this I think I can get the I think I can get the service if I play and just work hard for the team. But that's the main thing is work hard and then the goal, hopefully the goals will come after that and and hopefully yeah. Yeah, well, what do you feel you'll you'll bring to the team? I think I'll bring some goals, uh hard work, uh determination. I always I always want to win. I hate losing so I always want to win and win trophies. That's that's the thing with a club like this, I need to win trophies. Um but how do you look back on, on your five years with Villa? Would you look back on us with happiness, or is there any regret? Or? Um, I've I've had some I've had good times and some bad times. Been mixed. Last probably the last few years hasn't hasn't gone well for me. I was out with a foot injury that didn't help me. I was out for about nine ten months, which could have been less, but stuff happened. But uh, well, but the first first while and the next gen stuff that was probably the highlight week. Yeah, so you were second top scorer with Villa once, yeah. Or, yeah, I was. I got injured in the in the last sixteen, so I could have went on to be top scorer, but that was good experience for me and scoring all those goals. Just, yes. for the, just for the fans who don't know, that's like the Champions League, least, Champions League, Champions League for Champions League for, yeah. for for that, and that was that was good for for that time playing against all the best players in in Europe and all the best teams and be top scorer. But before I was injured, was was a good achievement and. And hopefully I can, can get back to that form and improve myself and start scoring like that again. Did you did you find you had a good education at Villa? Because you know their academy is renowned. Like, did you feel yeah. it? You know, it was good for your football education. Yeah, definitely. Um, definitely. Tony McAndrew, Sean Barry, Kevin McDonald was there. Garden Cowens as well. There's a few more that I'm probably went miss out, but they de- they developed me a lot and and <coughs> I like to I like to thank them. But it's time to move on now and time to kickstart my career. And I, this is your first time back playing in Ireland since since you were a schoolboy. Mm. Uh, how excited are you to be home? Yeah, I can't wait. I think it's it's the right the right time for me to be to be back home and and improve improve myself and playing some games and then hopefully I can if I do well get move over to England or, or or stay here. Um, and you're from Kilkenny. You're sorry, where in Kilkenny are you from? Yeah, the city. All right, yeah. Um, don't take it the wrong way, but not renowned for its soccer players. Um, I believe you're a bit of a hurling prodigy as well back in the day. Yeah, yeah, I was. I, I was alright. I was alright at the hurling, but <coughs> played with James Stevens, and that's why I was. I was alright. We won a fella in All Ireland, so I was. We were we were a good team and. Yeah, you, you obviously still have a big interest in it as well. <coughs> yeah. yeah, I do. Yeah. I still go for a puck round with the lads. Or when I was over there, some of the Irish lads, or I go for a puck against the wall. 
just something to do like keep the interest in I believe at uh, at Villa you uh, had an opportunity to have a puck around with Kino but he mm. well didn't ne- never happen he said that he'd go for a puck around with me but never happened in then because he left but would have been would have been nice to puck around with a car man test his touch a bit um, and so finally Mikey um, mm. just your, your excitement about the, the year ahead yeah just can't wait the next hopefully the next 10 months now will bring success goals and, and trophies that's why we want to want to win everything club like this need to be winning leagues and that and the Europe as well that's a that's another going back into Europe and hopefully that'll be a good experience for me going back into going back into Europe and I know it's probably it's a different it's a step up like but just can't wait to get started in that